The Ukrainian general staff showed missile launches towards Zhankoi Air Base on the night of April 16th and 17. These look like ATACMs. As a result, four S-400 launchers, three radars, an air defense control point, and airspace surveillance equipment was destroyed. This is the updated information from Ukrainian defense intelligence on the aftermath of yesterday's strike on the military airfield in temporarily occupied Dijankoi, Crimea. Four S-400 missile systems, three radar stations, an air defense control center, Fundament M airspace surveillance equipment, the number of enemy aircraft facilities hit or destroyed and the number of casualties among the personnel of the Russian occupation army are being confirmed, It appears that the vote for Ukraine aid will finally take place this Saturday. Following months of unjustified delays, mounting pressure prompted Mike Johnson to finally take action. The Republican leader detailed a $95 billion aid package following extensive discussions with ultra-conservatives that extended into Tuesday night. He stated his intention to put it to a vote on Saturday. A total of $61 billion will be allocated to Ukraine with $23.2 billion earmarked for replenishing defense goods and services provided to Ukraine. Russian disinformation agent and Congressman Matt Goetz, known for his Kremlin rhetoric, suggested that the Ukraine aid is likely to pass. He is among the minority of hardline pro-Russians who have opposed the aid. The Democrats are poised to throw their support behind the bill, as President Biden has pledged to sign Johnson's bills if they receive congressional support. Hopefully, Everything proceeds according to plan, and the vote takes place on Saturday as scheduled. This aid will significantly enhance Ukraine's position for the latter part of 2024 and beyond. I, I'm doing here what I believe to be the right thing. Um, I think pr providing lethal aid to Ukraine right now is critically important. I really do. I really do believe the intel and, and the briefings that we've gotten that, G, that, um, that I, I believe Xi and, and, and Vladimir Putin and and Iran really are an axis of evil. I think they're in coordination on this. I think that Vladimir Putin would continue to march through Europe if he were allowed. I think he might go to the Balkans next. I think he might have a showdown with Poland or one of our NATO allies. To put it bluntly, I would rather send bullets uh, to Ukraine than American boys. My son is going to begin in the Naval Academy this fall. This is a live fire exercise for me as it is so many American families. This is not a game. It's not a joke. We can't play politics of this. We have to do the right thing. And I'm going to allow an opportunity for every single member of the House to vote their conscience and their will on this. And I think that's the way this institution is supposed to work. And I'm willing to take personal risk for that because we have to do the right thing and history will judge us. There is no evacuation, no food or water, a group of five Russian occupiers complain. The soldiers recorded a farewell video for their relatives. One of them suffered for two days, his leg was torn off, he died. His body was still lying there. Russia for you. Заходимся под завалами. Дома дом полностью разрушен, мы под завалами. У нас горсточка здесь пацанов, вон пацанёнок там. Вот он. Вот он. лежит пацан. Два дня продержался, ему ногу оторвало там. Ноги у него нету. Баха. Позывно у него баха. Эвакуации здесь нету. Не знаю, выберемся ли мы. Но мы на это очень надеемся, что выберемся. Я даже в таких ситуациях, можно сказать, впервые был я на боевых заданиях. И много кто пацаны были. Но в таких, по-моему, первый раз каждый попал в такую ситуацию. И нет у него эвакуации ни еды, ни питья. Я за Завалено... вами эвакуации работал, никогда так не бросал, блядь. Шел. Это видео снимается для того, чтобы... Кто-то может из нас не добраться, потому что добраться это очень, очень тяжело и, и даже говорить неохота. Бьет артиллерия, бьет пулемет, бьет все на свете. И даже по сей день вот этот дом разрушенный, где мы находимся под завалами, до сих пор его бьют укропы. 
Apparently, Ukraine used a converted Aeropract A-22 Foxbat aircraft to attack the 29B-6 container radar. The same type was used to attack a Shahed facility in the Republic of Tatarstan, situated over 1,200 kilometers away from the Ukrainian border. Кукурузник. Точно или этот, блядь? Как его? Это на это похоже. Ну, на этот квадрокоптер. Наверное. Какой квадрокоптер? Нет, беспилотник. Смотри, беспилотник. Ну, беспилотник, я и говорю. Two alleged spies suspected of planning to sabotage German military aid for Ukraine have been arrested in the southern German state of Bavaria. The two men, described as dual German-Russian nationals, were detained in Bayreuth on suspicion of spying for Russia, prosecutors say. Interior Minister Nancy Faeser said authorities had prevented possible explosive attacks. The men are accused of scouting U.S. military facilities and other sites. The main suspect, Dieter S., has been remanded in pretrial detention accused of a string of offenses, including plotting an explosion, arson, and maintaining contact with Russian intelligence. He is also alleged to have fought for a Russian proxy armed force in occupied eastern Ukraine from 2014 to 16. The second suspect, identified as Alexander J., is accused of helping him since last month to identify potential targets for attack. He was due to appear in court on Thursday. The Russian ambassador has been summoned by the foreign ministry in Berlin. Ms. Faeser condemned a particularly serious case of alleged spy activity for Russian President Vladimir Putin's criminal regime. They cite preparing explosive and arson attacks, especially on military and industrial infrastructure. Dieter S. is said to have scouted potential targets, including U.S. military facilities, taking photos and videos and handing the information to the Russian contact. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.